shrewd. Prince Philip cut Charles, Andrew and Harry out of $60 million will as final punishment for sinners. Did Prince Philip cut Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, and Prince Harry out of his will before passing? One tabloid claims the late royal wanted to make sure those who disappointed him wouldn't get a cent after his death. Let's check in on the latest royal drama. Report exposes Prince Philip's secret $60 million will. The latest edition of the Globe reports Prince Philip disinherited all of the relatives that disappointed him during his final days. According to the tabloid's insiders, many high-ranking royals won't get a dime of Philip's fortune. Philip's apparently cut several senior royals out of the will, including his sons Princes Charles and Andrew and grandson Prince Harry, but rewarded the other women in his life who made him happy in his later years, and insider dishes. Apparently, the changes came as no surprise since Philip had a tendency to speak his mind. He was a macho naval officer who considered Charles a whining wimp, the source divulges. He was furious Charles' affair with Camilla doomed his marriage to Princess Diana and brought so much scandal to the family. But Philip was even more disappointed with his other son, Prince Andrew. Apparently, the prince didn't approve of how Andrew handled his divorce from Sarah Ferguson or the way he spent his money. And when Andrew's association with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein came to light, that was the last straw. Philip must be rolling over in his grave now that the Roberts woman filed a lawsuit accusing Andrew of rape. But Philip wasn't stopping at his sons. As for henbecked Harry, Philip made no secret of how disgusted he was with Charles' youngest son and his diva wife, Meghan. He vowed he'd never forgive them for their explosive tell-all TV interview, the source reveals. He considered all three princes total failures. Prince Philip leaves fortune to his lovers? So, where is all of Prince Philip's money going? Well, according to the tabloid, his fortune is being split between his mistresses. Although married to Queen Elizabeth for 73 years, Philip was a lifelong womanizer, the snitch confides. He kept a harem of younger beauties around him all his life. I'm told he left some of them a fortune, leaving Her Majesty heartsick and furious. The tabloid went on to name a half dozen of Philip's alleged mistresses. But the royal family apparently had no intention of exposing Philip's last will and testament since the document has been sealed from the public. Sealing the will protects the Queen from so much public humiliation, the insider remarks. Prince Philip's will ripping the royals apart? After looking into this report, there's one question on our minds, who is giving the tabloid this information? The details of Philip's last will and testament have indeed been sealed from the public by an executor who hasn't even seen the document himself. Philip's last wishes will remain a secret for another 90 years at the very least. So, there are two options. Either this sleazy tabloid is privy to some of the most classified information in all of England, or someone is lying. In considering the first option, you have to wonder why this isn't bigger news. If the prince's top secret will really was leaked, that would be front page news. But strangely, no reputable outlet has followed up this story. Given the unlikelihood of this scenario, we're guessing the story was completely made up. The truth is, we can't speak to the contents of Philip's will. Maybe the prince's last wishes will surprise people, we can't say one way or the other. But we are confident that this tabloid doesn't have any more information than the rest of us. The tabloid on royal finances. But we wouldn't trust anything the globe has to say about the royals and their finances. This is the same tabloid that once claimed Prince Charles ordered Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to repay $12 million to the Crown. Then the outlet alleged Harry and Markle were still receiving $360,000 a year from Charles. And more recently, the magazine reported Harry and Markle stiffed a charity $110,000. Obviously, the globe isn't reliable when it comes to the royal family, especially when money is involved.